Introducing the Open Palm Podcast with host Jerome Shaw, available today on your favorite podcast platforms. The Open Palm Podcast is a positive, uplifting, motivational, and inspirational podcast. The host brings his insight and philosophy, and you can't help but gravitate towards his smile, his words, and his wisdom. Again, the podcast he hosts is titled The Open Palm Podcast. It's about inspirational messages, motivating themes, and thought-provoking ideas and topics. He'll also help you become more aware and in harmony with your own life, giving you a better understanding of your place in the world and using your skills accordingly, greeting the world with an open palm instead of a closed fist. You can find the show today on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and more. You can also connect with the host on Instagram at J Rome Shaw. That's J R O M E S H A W on Instagram. Jerome Shaw with the Open Palm Podcast. Motivation, meditation, mentality. Go listen, download, and subscribe today. The son of a master thief asked his father to teach him the secrets of the trade. The old thief agreed, and that night took his son to burglarize a large house. While the family was asleep, he silently led his young apprentice into a room that contained a closed closet. The father told his son to go into the closet to pick out some clothes. When he did, his father quickly shut the door and locked him in, then went back outside and knocked loudly on the front door, thereby waking the family and quickly slipped away before anyone saw him. Hours later, his son returned home, bedraggled and exhausted. (laughs) Father, he cried angrily. Why did you lock me in that closet? If, if If I hadn't been made desperate by my fear of getting caught, I... I may have never escaped. I would have never. It took all my ingenuity to get out. The old thief just smiled. Son, you have had your very first lesson in the art of burglary. Sometimes in life, There are many ways to learn wisdom. The first way we know is by imitation, imitating others. The second, through reflection, meditation, contemplation. And the third is experience. But experience is by far the harshest teacher. It's the only teacher that gives us the lesson after it gives us the test. Have there been in times in your life where you have been tested? Maybe times when you got a new job and instead of just telling you what to do or giving you instructions, they threw you out to the wolves and had you learn on your own, put you into a situation or pushed you into a situation where you had to learn. There was no choice. You would either face embarrassment, face humiliation, or you would gain experience. Learning through trial and error. When we are put under strenuous circumstances, sometimes this brings the most ingenious acts. Acts of bravery where we have courage in spite of our fear, something is activated whenever there is no turning back. When our back is against the wall and there's no way to go but forward. I once had a job, one of my many odd jobs, when I landed in California. And just to make ends meet, I had a sales job at Sam's Club where I sold knives and I did a big old demonstration 
Come ye, come all. <laughs> Bringing people to a podium with free tickets, promising them something free at the end of a demonstration. Well, the free thing that they didn't know that they would receive were small, tempered stainless steel knives. But the demonstration was for a whole set of kitchen knives. And in the beginning, I had to memorize a whole long script for this demonstration, cutting tomatoes, slicing through bread, and even cutting the board itself with the knife, showing that this steel was impenetrable and unbreakable and worth them buying. But there was one time where I was thrown out to the wolves and asked to give a demonstration even though I was slightly unprepared. And instead of standing in the audience or in the crowd as my instructor usually would do to give me comfort of him being there if I slipped up, he walked away casually like another customer in the store and let me fall on my own sword. <laughs> and what actually happened, I'll never forget. I was slicing through the tomatoes and I didn't have my fingers curled in as I was supposed to. A little nervous, trying to memorize the script and recite it perfectly while still doing the demonstration and performing with the knives, one of the people in the audience was telling me something that I should have been listening to. Sir, you shouldn't be cutting that tomato like that. Me trying to reassure him and maintain my composure and confidence, I said, oh no, it's okay, it's okay. These, I've been doing this for a little while, you know, these knives, are, it's okay, I, I got it. But lo and behold, I didn't have it. And I ended up slicing through my thumb, clean through, proving that the knife, in fact, was worth buying at least in the case of it being very sharp slicing clean through my thumb where i had to have on a huge bandage for the coming weeks it was a miracle that my thumb grew back for this was not just the outer skin but i sliced down almost to the bone of my thumb piercing through the white meat I'll never forget it. And it was a moment that that experience, that lesson, that trial and error taught me to never have that happen again. But would I have ever learned that lesson if it had not been for me being under pressure? When the stakes were raised, when the heat got turned up, I had to learn on the fly but that made me retain all the more the lessons that I needed for later on. Challenge can bring out the most in us. Sometimes the best way to respect and appreciate what we have accomplished is by learning it the hard way and doing it on our own. For we hear and we forget, we see and we remember, but we do and we understand. When we learn on our own, that's when we really learn. Sometimes there's no better way to teach than to force one to teach oneself. Thank you for listening, my friend. This has been Jerome Shaw on T.O.P., the Open Palm podcast here in San Antonio, Texas. The Open Palm means harmony with the world, understanding our place in the world, using our skills accordingly, greeting the world with an open palm instead of a closed fist. I pray you received an encouraging message letting you know that sometimes it is worthwhile to learn things on your own, even if Experience can be a harsh teacher. It can be one that sticks with you forever. Share this episode with a like-minded individual, learning and growing, becoming their greatest version, just like you. Pay it forward so more can hear the message. And if this is your very first time receiving this podcast, 
Give it a subscribe for more inspirational messages like this. And if you feel it in your heart to support, consider opening your browser to anchor.fm slash jshaw. Clicking that support link there is much appreciated. Thank you to all the wonderful supporters who continue to donate to this podcast, making it possible for episodes like this. You are much appreciated. Much loved. Have a wonderful and blessed day or night wherever you are. And take care, my friend. Hey there, my friend. So you've heard about Anchor, but do you know why it's the easiest way to make a podcast? Well, first off, it's free. It allows you to use creation tools that let you record your podcast right from your phone or computer. It also distributes your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more platforms. You can even make money from your podcast with minimum listenership. It's everything you need in one place. Download the free Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm to get started. Can't wait to hear yours. Let's see what you have to offer the world.